<laughs> How's it going guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is KB and welcome back to Ether One. The last time we left off being put into an egg. <laughs> Is this the ether? It's like liquid. Can I breathe? Am I wearing the proper equipment? I don't even know what I look like. Was I prepared for this? <laughs> oh god. Oh god, just remember to what? Just remember to what? But yeah, from the information gathered in the last video, I'm assuming that this, whatever that liquid is, I'm assuming it's the ether or okay, whatever. Okay, listen up. You are in your case. You're probably going to come back here a lot. Oh yeah? So please take some time to get acquainted with your surroundings. Hey, that's where the lady was born. Most restore is sanity intact. For a short while, anyway. Or wait, I don't know. Press triangle to teleport to and from the case. Great. Anyway, so the, I'm assuming that liquid, whatever that is, is like whatever they use to, I'm assuming, access people's mind or like memories. Because it has something to do with like the patient has dementia. We, we gotta do stuff. Okay, so what the mind thinks the heart transmits. That's cute. All right, let's press triangle. Our sole purpose this evening is to track the memory and pinpoint its location so we can cleanse it of any disease present. Everything you're seeing huh. in front of you is a visual environment pieced together from our client's subconscious mind. That's interesting. Barren wastelands or an abstract painting reimagined. It's all completely tangible. Huh. All I can see are brain scans of tissue degradation confirming my previous diagnosis of dementia. Oh, Both God. are incredibly <laughs> important if I didn't we are to succeed pick it up. and understand our client's needs. Now, if you just give me a second, I'll have some more details for you. Feel free to explore in the meantime. Oh, I'm exploring and I'm picking up a bottle. I didn't really mean to actually take it with me. Oh well. You never know when you're gonna need a bottle. <laughs> this is a very pretty forest. Woody area. Is it a lighthouse? I'm just gonna keep going down the path. I guess I could run. Pick up the pace just a bat. Huh. Super old timey. When did I say she was born? I mean, she's 69. Devlin Mine. Wow. Of course, I don't know what time this is. I'm just assuming. Hmm. I'm not sure where I should be exploring. I'm just gonna wander around until I find something. <gasps> What's this? Nothing. What's this? <laughs> it did say she was a teacher. But I doubt a teacher... Well, she's also in the US. Again, I don't know. Devil in mind. That sounds like something British, right? Mr. Moran. It has come to my attention during my investigate Inspecti... Investigation, inspection of the mining facilities here at Devlin that many of the workers in the pit are unsettled, uneasy, and as a result, unproductive. There is clearly a correlation between the pitiful working conditions that these men have to endure and the motivation to do productive and worthwhile work. Lifts and descent devices are clearly in disrepair. Ventilation in the chambers below are blocked, causing fume and smoke buildup. With these issues and more in mind, it is with my sincere apologies that I have decided that Devlin Mines should close temporarily until these issues meet the standards required by your governing, governing union body. Well. Now, is that the explanation as to why there's nobody here, or is it because we're in someone's memories? But even in someone's memories, there's going to be other people. Oh god. I'm trying to get creeped out every time I hear music now. I'm not used to music. Wrench! I'm 
gonna take the wrench over the bottle. Oh, what's this? Gold leaf tobacco. I don't want that. Take the wrench. Safety. I don't know why I feel like I'm in danger. A pinwheel industrial 10 exports. Plummet. All hope on all hopes on US export deal. Hundreds of jobs are at risk as the local tin and arsenic export quantities lower dramatically with the, the European ter territory. All hopes are pinned on the successful closing of a U.S. export deal that would secure the company for the foreseeable future. The closure of Pinwheel ind Industrial would have devastating consequences on the small mining town of Pinwheel, where the economy relies greatly on the export of tin, arsenic, and cider. So yeah, this is definitely in... Pinwheel, the place where that lady was born. I just don't know what year. New health and safety mining laws coming to effect soon. But since they are talking about mining, I mean, I would assume. And plus, like, look at this place. I would assume it's pretty. Pretty long time ago. Such an idiot. Oh god, I am such an idiot. I can't do an accent, by the way, in case you're wondering. I'm not that talented. I mean, I guess I could try. I don't even know. What, what do British people sound like? Chip, chip, cheerio. <laughs> like. I can't. I'll try. I'm such. I, I can't. Whatever. I borrowed the air compressor manual in order to make repairs in the mine, and I left it down <laughs> past the blast doors. Steve has warned me so many times about being forgetful. I just hope I can get it back before it gets lost forever. I can't afford for any of my wage to be docked this week. Huh. It's worth noting that if you feel an item might be useful later on in your journey, and you have no use for it now. You can always store it in the case and collect it at any time. Ha, huh, well that's interesting, and I'm assuming since she said it when I picked this up, that that's going to be useful. So we're going to take the magnifying glass, and we're going to plop it right there. Alright, thanks pal. Alright, let's go. <laughs> let's go back. I'm going to take my rich. What is this? And what is- ooh, that's a mask. Now I'm just gonna like store everything. Oh wait, I didn't pick it up. They shouldn't have told me that. <laughs> now everything must be stored in the case. We're gonna put that right there. Oh god, no! We'll put it right here. <laughs> Alright, I don't want the wrench anymore. Sorry guy, you served me well. What's this? It's a pipe. Maybe that'll unleash my inner British person in the in the future. My inner European. <gasps> Binoculars! That's probably gonna be useful. I can't! Why can't I? I can't take it with me. I feel cheated. What's this? I'm upset. I can take that with me. Wait, I don't I want these. I want this. I'm upset. Well, I'm unhappy. Alright, well, whatever. I don't want any of it. What's this? Raisins. Can't take those either. <laughs> uh, wait. Can I go? No, that's not downstairs. Okay, let's go upstairs. With a mask, now that I have two of them. I don't, I don't know. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Readings indicate that the central focus of this memory is located below you, in an old abandoned mine known as Devlin. Huh. Entry 95D in our client's memory journal indicates that an accident occurred affecting them in a meaningful way. Oh god. Well that's interesting. Do you think they were- oh! Well, I didn't see anything with a combination on it. Wait, have I seen anything with a combination on it? Well, now I'm questioning everything. Alright, let's see. I do know that now I need to keep an eye open for that. Anything with a combination. What's this? Dear lover, letter to Mr. Harvey of Hale. Dear Mr. Harvey, as I am sure you are aware, my client Mr. H. Smith is intent on offering you a particularly generous buyout of the Harvey & Co. Limited Enterprise. We would like to purpose, 
propose a meeting between parties and solicitors on the 15th October at our offices in Devlin to discuss a potential acquisition of assets and trades. Be under no illusion, Mr. Harvey. Be under no illusion, Mr. Harvey. We are fully aware of your current financial disposition and are incredibly interested in rectifying this situation for you. Yours sincerely, Mr. J. Dawkins, business solicitor and consultant. I kind of have a feeling that that means they're going to lowball him because they know that he... It sounds like he is struggling financially because they shut that on the mine. So they're going to be like lo trying to lowball him. Note to self. I need to ensure that I remember the lot combination to Devlin's side entrance, but the warden banned any of us from writing it down. Miners eat from metal plates, don't forget. Oh, it's probably on a plate. Alright. Um. Oh, yeah. In case I sound funny. I don't know if I do. I, I sound funny to me. Um, I have been cold. I have been cold. I have had a cold the last few days, and I'm just now pretty much over it, but I still sound a little... A little funky metal plate. Sup, dog? Oh god. So zero. Oh god. Can I? I can't flip it over. Oh, there we go. One six seven zero. 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 Okay. All right. So. Oh god. One six. Seven. Oh god. Ooh. Okay, so I've been digging a little deeper into our client's personal history, and I found details of a strong emotional response to someone who once worked within the mine. An entry that discusses the mine at great length, but doesn't discuss whom the individual was that worked there. Continue to work your way down, further into the mine. It seems the center of this memory is very much at the heart of these industrial ratways. I'll contact you if I gain any more information. Well, thank you. Please ensure all valves are in correct, correct position before lever activation. All valves? Well, what position do they need to be in? How am I supposed to know this? Oh god. Is there a guide? Is there a picture? Is that what the valve is supposed to look like? Or is that like the action of pulling the lever? Let's just assume it's what the valve is supposed to look like. Pull the lever, quonk! Oh. Oh! <laughs> okay. Open, close. So, the Devlin Mine Beam Engine Diagram. Air valve. Exhaust valve, equilibrium valve, steam valve, furnace valve. So it goes right, left, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. So right, left, left, right, left. I kind of have a feeling that's already what it was at whenever I did this. The lever. Oh god. Why did that scare me so much? What is this? What's happening? It's pumping. It's doing something. Alright. Ah! It's magic! Okay. <laughs> that was fast. Also, how come nothing's wet? What is this? How's this paper here? I don't understand. Was that a horse there? She stirs beyond the waves. I hear, call I hear her calling us as we work the ground, crying and begging for us to stop, pleading and bargaining as we bring our tools down onto the earth, rock and metal beneath our feet. Her waves are crashing against the cliff side in protest, cursing our industrial adventures, crying for her plight. I know in my heart that one day she will lash out and we shall pay the price. But what can I do, Mother Earth? I have mouths that I need to feed, a job that I need to do. The industrial man asks of me and I shall provide. As the machines brim with repetitive life and the crafted tools claw at the rock face, I feel the unrelenting force of nature below me, making its preparations to unleash its free form glory upon us. Well, that was powerful. Let's see, I have a feeling we're gonna go that away with the stairs. What's I want to see what's over here? What's oh, so this away? Another lever! What's in here? Stuff and things. Things and stuff. 
Ah, it's a lift! <laughs> and honestly, it looks like this is a good time to stop this video. So I really hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know. Subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every week. And I'll see you next time. Bye!